Hey, hello friends. Welcome to my channel, SABSD and ABAP League Support. Last week, we discussed about STU scenario, which will be created from sales order, right? We discussed about this under real-time client requirement scenario. So today we will see how to create a PO with reference to sales order. Let's do that now. Okay, let me log into system. First, let's see how it works. Then we will discuss how we need to achieve it. Okay, so first of all, I am going to create one sales order. Okay, remember that I am not going to discuss entire flow. What way? Observed in our last session regarding this requirement, right? I am just mainly focusing on this, how to create the PO from the sales order level. The other flow is, we know that, right? Delivery, billing document, and uh, goods receipt, everything is same only. There is no change in that. The only one thing that we should uh, remember and uh, learn it here is that how to create an PO from the order only. Okay, I'm going to create an order now. Okay, I'm going to save this one now. Okay, order has been saved. The number is 598. Let me open this order now. In change mode, if I go to output request, Remember that I'm in S4 on a system, but I, I, have, I have activated the old NAST based output determination. We know that, right? In BRF plus, special function medium 8 won't work. If you want to use that particular output medium, then we should definitely go to the old NAST based output determination. So I have enabled in that SPR path level. Now we can see special function medium 8 has been triggered with output type is zd00 here and if we observe here the dispatch time is one here that means it has to process through background job only one means through background job that is nothing but rs nast 00 program and for the two also we should use the same program and for Three, if dispatch time three means, then we should use the standard program SD seventy AV. One second, let me show you that SD seventy, yeah, AV one year. So this is the program. So this is the program used to process the output which has dispatch time three. So currently we have mentioned as one here. So you might ask why we need to mention as one here. Why can't we keep it as four? Four means save immediately. If you make it as a four here, then what will happen? The output will be failed. The reason here is that we are creating this uh, PO with reference to sales order only, correct? And this output will be assigned to this order during update mode, right? So it will lead to locking issue, right? And output won't be successful, then PO also won't be created. To avoid that, we need to make it as a either one or two or three. Then based on the dispatch time, we should run that relevant program. 
okay fine so this is now in za double zero in dispatch time one now okay now i'll go to ac 38 okay the program here is that rs nast double zero this is the program that we should use to process the output types wherever dispatch time is one okay let me execute this one and uh, select that relevant uh, variant i have already created a variant for this one so i am selecting from this one okay now the order number here is that five nine eight yeah so rest uh, rest everything same only application is v1 order number is five nine eight output type is z double zero and medium is eight so there is no problem if you leave this blank like application output type medium eight you can simply mention order number five nine eight that's also fine because if you mention only the order number here then system will try to pick all the output types from that order whichever has dispatch time one if you specify here which output you should process means it will process for that output type only okay now i will execute this one okay so you see here we are getting some message here saying that standard PO created under the number four five double zero double zero zero one five four okay let me copy this one fine i copied this one and now let's go to that uh, order now go to output request and you see now za double zero has been successfully processed and if you select this one click processing log then you see the relevant po number created with help of this output type ZA00. You see this is the PO number. So let's open this PO in another window. ME23N is the T code. Okay, click this uh, other PO. Add the PO number. Mm, you see, PO has been created successfully. Right? One second, yeah, one five four. Correct, yeah. So PO has been created now. So like this, we can create the PO, right? Now let's see how to achieve this requirement. Now we have already discussed about the special function outputs in our earlier uh, enhancement uh, series. You can check out that. Okay, so create custom output type with medium 8 okay and we need to do the relevant configuration for this output creation assigning this output type in that uh, relevant output procedure right then place the output procedure in that relevant uh, sales document type controls everything and uh, condition records maintenance everything we should do okay okay output uh, procedure assignment okay so then maintain condition records okay so the last step is that develop special function program to create PO from background so here we need to keep remember few important things in the dire program okay so we can we need to use that uh, okay how to create the PO from the program right we can use that uh, FM nothing but an uh, Bobby okay that is uh, bopi 
underscore PO underscore create one right this is a function model or a BOP which we should use to create the PO right so to to create the PO with the help of this uh, BOP we should input some data right that that required logic will be added inside this special function driver program only okay so this is that uh, BAPI we should use then again we should use one more FM that is NAST proto call underscore update so with the help of this update we can update this processing log right if you select this one and click this processing log system will try to you see some messages here right four lines of message come here right to update this processing log we should uh, use this function model and uh, update the required data here so we can uh, display any data that we need anything we can display here with the help of this function model okay now let me show you the program what i have developed It's a big program okay so okay let me go to processing so what we are doing we are, we are trying to create a pivot right so before trying to create the pivot we should make sure that the purchase info record source determination in case of pivot creation that should be available to verify whether that is available with the combination of a vendor and material right to validate that we should use the two different tables eina and eine you can you can go through these tables okay you'll understand what's the purpose of that one then we are using different tables vbke right and vbep vbap different table we are using then so we are creating one uh, PO for the company code EY01 and uh, sales document type ZNB, right? And uh, purchasing Argus EY01. So we need to input all the data. So whichever is required to create an PO, those data we should input in the program. Okay, one that is input is given, then we are calling the function model that is BAPI PO create one. So with the help of this function model only, these changes, this PO getting created. Either we can achieve this requirement through Bobby or we can use BDC. So I have used here BDC as well. If you see here, I am calling one more program here, submit Z test underscore PO. So in this PO, in this uh, program, I am calling the BDC program here. I think we discussed about the BDC, right? That equal to SHDB. Okay. So either we can use BOPI or BDC SHDB. But the more promising, more suggestible way of uh, creating the any transaction, either delivery or order or PO means definitely we should go for BOPI only. Okay. If we use BDC, then case of upgrade happens in the system. At that point of time, the BDC might not work after the upgrade. But we, but uh, BAPI will handle those upgrades and all. So no problem happens with the BAPI. So we have two options, but BAPI is the right approach to create any transactions. Okay. So like this, we should create the PO from the sales order. So like this, we can create a PO from the sales order or create any performer for that order. That is F5, right? I think we had discussed about this F5 performer creation earlier also. You can check out our earlier videos that will explain you how to create the 
performer from the order and you see here the announcement 32 we discussed about how to create the debit memo request from the invoice level so when we save the invoice then debit memo request should create automatically for the for that invoice right this one and you see here enhancement 31 so here we discussed about the how to create the performa f5 immediately when we save the order Press the performa invoice right so like this we can create the other transactions and you can go through our earlier videos on the same in SAPSD enhancements you will understand about this importance of this output special function 8 okay friends we can catch up in the next video bye for now